The emails obtained by CNN began shortly after the 2001 shower incident where grad assistant Mike McQuarrie said he saw Sandusky sexually assaulting a young boy. In the first email, Schultz tells Curley they will talk to Sandusky, the second mile, and the Department of Welfare, the agency that is required by law to investigate abuse. But then that idea changes. Instead, Curley says he wants to talk things over with Sandusky and work with him before deciding to contact child welfare. These emails don't mention Sandusky by name. Instead, they call him the subject and person. Quote, after giving it more thought and talking it over with Joe yesterday, I am uncomfortable with what we agreed were the next steps. I am having trouble with going to everyone but the person involved. I will be more comfortable meeting with the person and tell him about the information we received and tell him we are aware of the first situation. The Joe that they refer to in that conversation is Joe Paterno. That first situation he's referring to is a separate shower incident Sandusky had with a boy in 1998. Sandusky was not charged at the time. Former President Graham Spanier then agrees with the plan to back off. Quote, I am supportive of Spanier rights, but adds the only downside for us is if the message isn't heard and acted upon, and we then become vulnerable for not having reported it but that can be assessed down the road.